With ghost ghouls, spirits and spectres, supernatural horror is forever a popular corner of cinema. Slashes and monster features, they're all well and good, but sometimes there's nothing quite like a great supernatural film. Of course, everybody has their favourites when it comes to this particular horror subgenre, but the realm of supernatural horror also has plenty of brilliant pictures that have somewhat flown under the radar over the years. So, with that in mind then, I'm Andrew from What Culture Horror, and here are 10 hidden gem supernatural horror movies. Number 10. The Pact With an extremely select release in 2012, The Pact is one of supernatural horror's best kept modern day secrets. Very much a family affair on the spooky front, the focus of the pact is on the Barlow family. When their mother dies, strange sisters Annie and Nicole are left to prepare the funeral. And after Nicole and her cousin go missing, Annie becomes embroiled in a supernatural mystery tied to their family home. Or while well, Casper Van Dien's cop suspects Katie Lotz's Annie of having her own nefarious intentions. As much as the pact is a supernatural movie, it ends up becoming just as much a whodunit picture once it gets into its final act. There are certain truths to be uncovered as the film goes on, and those truth reveals are accompanied by some great scares and moments of suspense. Number 9. Exeter Also known as The Asylum, Marcus Nispel's Exeter is a supernatural terror that takes place in the ever-wise location of an abandoned mental hospital. A group of your standard pretty young things head to this locale to party, and they soon realise that there's a, something a little paranormal about this asylum, because of course there is. But rather than take this as a sign that they should get their flub out of there, our central protagonists instead up to have a little bit of fun. When one of them, Rory, appears to levitate, our main characters yuck it up and believe this just to be one added layer of partying for their plans. Well, that is until Rory starts violently lashing out and speaking in tongues. Locked in this asylum, these friends then start to be possessed one by one after a DIY exorcism totally backfires. With solid scares and some nice twists, Exeter stands out from the pack in how its spirits get straight to it and don't pull any punches. Likewise, the film deserves extra props for taking a generic bunch of characters and managing to make them relatively likeable, which, let's face it, that's something that so many horror films totally fail at. Number 8. Below For some of us, the very notion of being cramped in a submarine deep in the ocean is nightmare fuel. Throw in supernatural shenanigans, and that takes the terror and tension to an even greater level. Set during World War II, the submarine in question in below is the US vessel known as Tiger Shark. Having picked up three survivors from a sunken British medical ship, the claustrophobia of being stuck in a tin can is amplified when mysterious voices start to ring out around the tiger shark, all as members of the crew disappear. Adding an extra sense of appeal to Below, there's a ragtag cast of great character actors here, including Bruce Greenwood, Olivia Williams, Jason Fleming, Dexter Fletcher, and a pre-hangover, Zach Galifianakis, leading the charge here. Unfortunately for those involved with Below though, the film sunk without a trace upon its initial release, as reflected by a box office return of barely $600,000 from a budget of $40 million. Number 7. The Last Winter Where Below utilised the claustrophobic setting of a submarine to amp up its terrors, The Last Winter opted to use the vast emptiness of the Arctic for its terror. This 2007 picture revolves around a group of Arctic oil workers who find themselves in the crosshairs of a miffed spirit that's determined to stop the oil of the land from being exploited by these fat cats. And rightly so, not just is The Last Winter a supernatural horror movie, but clearly there are some strong messages here about the environment and about the damage that we're all doing to it. Yes, you, and yes, unfortunately me. Let's do better, people. Ron Perlman heads up the cast here as the oil industry champion, climate change doubting Ed Pollock. With Ed overseeing an operation that's delving into the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge in the hunt for a new energy source. For Pollock and his crew, their work finds them tormented and haunted by something otherworldly that's looking to either drive them to your sanity or just kill them, kill them dead. The biggest thing The Last Winter has going for it, apart from Ron Perlman of course, is that it's a film that constantly keeps you on your toes with some genuine surprises and shocks as this story plays out. Number 6. The Beyond when many think of Lucio Fulci's work in horror, movies that immediately spring to mind are the likes of White Fang, Zombie 2, City of the Living Dead, and The House by the Cemetery. One film often overlooked though is 1981's The Beyond. In actuality, The Beyond is the second leg of Fulci's Gates of Hell trilogy that began with City of the Living Dead and concluded with The House by the Cemetery. 
Still, most casual horror fans tend to not even know that Beyond exists, let alone that it's part of this trilogy. For the film, it follows Catriona McCall's Lisa Merrill, as she inherits a Louisiana hotel that was once the location of a grisly murder. Not just that, but the belief is the hotel may even be a portal directly to hell. Despite plentiful townsfolk pleading with Lisa to not reopen the hotel, McGill's character, of course, dumbly does the complete opposite. For her, she views the Seven Doors Hotel as a way to make some big bucks. As you can see where this is going, those plans are hit hard when ghosts, spiders, zombies, and a good old dose of black magic all come into play in this chilling, stylish spook fest. For those with a penchant for the Fulci at his most, well, Fulci, the Beyond is an absolute must see. Number five, Dead End. Christmas Eve, the dead of night, a quiet countryside back lane, what could possibly go wrong? This is a setup for Dead End, with the Harringtons deciding to take a shortcut as they head off to visit family for the festive season. After Patriarch Frank has a near miss after he falls asleep at the wheel, the film starts to venture into supernatural territory, not least in how our protagonists are stalked by a dead baby carrying woman dressed in white and they're visited by a hearse. Putting it bluntly, things then get proper weird as the Harringtons drive round in circles and all have extremely odd encounters with something. Dead End does go a little bit cheesy with its twists and turns at times, but that works in its favour and adds a little to the charm. And in genre phase Ray Wise and Lynn Shea, this 2003 picture has two ideal leads to balance those scares with Dead End's more humorous and outright odd moments. Number 4. House 4 The Repossession a pseudo-sequel to the original film, House 4 goes back to the roots of what this franchise was based around. As in, lots of spooky scares that could be enjoyed by adults and children alike. Following the expletive-laced, gortastic third house effort, this approach was certainly a welcome return for the house series. The repossession sees William Cat's Roger Cobb brought back from the first film, complete somehow with a new wife and a daughter in tow. But after Roger is killed in a car accident early on, it's his wife Kelly who takes centre stage as she takes residence in the creepy family home, or while having to fend off her brother-in-law and his plans to take possession of the house for himself. In House 4 The Repossession, there's bloody showers, there's talking pizzas, there's classic mirror messages, and there's a whole host of other familiar tropes all included here. House 4 is very, very much worth hunting down, particularly if you have a thing for talking pizzas. Number 3. The Changeling The big question when putting this video together was whether or not The Changeling is really a hidden gem. A slow burn psychological supernatural offering, this 80s film centres on George C. Scott's John Russell, a composer who moves out to a spooky Victorian mansion following the tragic death of his wife and daughter. With this mansion having been vacant for 12 years, it's no surprise when strange goings on start to happen. Bizarre banging sounds, there's windows smashing, taps turning on, ghostly visions, and all of this eventually leading John to a locked, hidden room up in the property's attic. From there, an investigation into the sordid past of the house and its previous owners delivers quite the impactful fiery finale for this absolute hidden gem of a movie. Number 2. Absentia In this offering, Courtney Bell's pregnant Trisha is left stunned when her missing husband Daniel returns after a mysterious seven-year absence. For those wondering about the title of the film, this relates to Trisha finally getting to a point in her life where she's accepted her husband is likely dead. As such, she's preparing to publicly declare that, which is an act known as pronouncing somebody as being dead in absentia. When her ex-addict sister Callie comes to say, Trisha has her sibling assist her in formalizing Daniel's death and in helping her to move house. But as the moving day edges ever closer, troubled Trisha starts to have feverish nightmares and visions of her husband that are put down to guilt. It's only when Trisha decides to go on a date with a local cop that a barefoot, bloody, painfully thin Daniel resurfaces. With a spooky tunnel, plenty of questions, and even an eerie creature at its core, Absentia is totally worth tracking down. Number 1. The Innkeepers From writer-director Ty West, 2011's The Innkeepers is one of the great modern-day horror hidden gems, period. Starring horror favourite Sarah Paxton, this spooky picture is set in an old inn that's due to close imminently. With Paxton's Claire and Pat Healy's Luke as two employees tapped with overseeing the Yankee Peddler Inn's final weekend of operation, this pair of would-be ghost hunters find the hotel's haunted history resurfacing to make sure the venue goes out 
with a bang. At the centre of these supernatural shenanigans, there's the mystery of Madeleine O'Malley, a jilted bride who purportedly hanged herself at a hotel in the 1800s. Throw in an actress turned medium and a suicidal old fella, and The Innkeepers has all of its main pieces in place. Like certain other Thai West movies, The Innkeepers is also a film that's brimming with style and texture, with it also offering up some genuinely great scares as the picture progresses. So, that's our 10 hidden gem supernatural horror movies. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, turn those notification bells on, and come and give us a follow at Walt Culture Horror. While you're there, you can find myself at Culture Left Peg, but most importantly, be sure to have yourself the best possible day. Whether you're doing something, whether you're doing absolutely nothing, I hope it goes well for you. And if things aren't going so well, I hope they turn around as soon as possible. I've been Andrew Pollard from Walt Culture Horror, and I'll catch you down the road.